And he, I think one of the biggest barriers to this, Sister Bednar and I, when we were at BYU-Idaho, would meet with students every Monday night, let them ask questions. And one I've always remembered was a young woman. She was probably 20 or 21 years old. And her question was, Brother and Sister Bednar, I'm just not like Sister Hinckley. Well, duh. <laughs> and so my first response to her was, well, how old are you? And she said, I'm 20 years old. I said, well, Sister Hinckley's almost 90. She should be 70 years ahead of you, and you probably shouldn't be a whole lot like her. If we could get Sister Hinckley at 20, I bet she was probably a lot like you. Maybe not even as good, I don't know, maybe a little better. But what you see in Sister Hinckley is 70 years of line upon line assessing the gap. Here's what I need to do. Here's how I sustain it. Yeah. Now I can see the gap again. It's, it's different, but it's still there. She's been doing that for 70 years. She ought to be ahead of you. I think there's a lot to learn from not locking in on the wrong object of comparison. He'll let us know how we're doing. You're not going to find out by comparing yourself to somebody else.